Hey guys, it's the beginning of May, and a new month means new Patreon game, so let's see what people voted for. That's right, this month we're playing Oxen Free. There was a three-way tie for second place. First place, but almost by double the votes practically this month was Oxen Free, which has been in the uh, list for a few months now, but continually just almost won, but not quite. So I guess this was finally their month. I guess maybe people, after two months of uh, open-ended, narrative-free, uh, very systematic games, people wanted to have a very narrative-focused game this time around. Think things. I think things can might bounce back and forth over time. So I went ahead and just plugged in a controller because it apparently has controller support, and it, right off the bat, it seems to work just fine. This will be interesting. It, it's actually been a few months since we played a game that had an ending or like a very defined ending to it, and it wasn't sort of a sandbox or a uh, keep playing over and over again forever type game. So I don't know a lot about this one. I know that it's narratively focused. I know a lot of people compare it to Life is Strange. And that's really about it. Let's go ahead and find out. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss... I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He'll be like a roommate, really. No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not going to mind that we're spending the night. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably... There! Great! I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? 
the little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. The dialogue handled my interaction pretty cleanly for the most part part where I just wandered over and just was like, let's inspect this thing over here and see what happens. And then I just picked up the conversation right where it left off, or like just organically. Although it did cut off when I tried to take the photo a little too fast when there was more dialogue. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <sighs> yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh. Uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's... Come on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts. All right. Yeah, basically... Wait, we're not allowed here after dark? So, like, what's our plan if we get caught? We won't! I had to promise Karen I'd shovel her driveway all winter so she just looked the other way. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason... It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Really! No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So this is cool. What is it? 
It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can hear facts about different stuff by tuning to that station. Uh, okay, sure. It's just, uh, 102.3. Won't take long, I promise. Really, it's, uh, it's pretty in- Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. Its propeller was the one thing recovered, so they made it into, like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, if you had, you'd have heard of the town. But since you haven't, you hadn't. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh hey, this is the Parson Facilities Office. Didn't, didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks and barely anybody here needs facilities. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Brent, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go. That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah. Never mind. Oh, Ren. You big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those games <laughs> where, where I'm like, I have to fight for any sort of opening to say anything <laughs> because there's so many conversations happening. The game's literally talking over itself with the multiple layers of dialogue. This is beautiful, by the way, this background here. All right, so we already have a bit of a rivalry here between these two characters. I think what, like, we're, ro I think she's romantically involved with this guy, but this is their childhood friend and they're already trying to split me up. And they're jealous of each other in their own different ways. Discovery Cliffs and Main Street. Can I just go wherever I want? Oh, those are just directions. Those aren't prompts. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. There's our map. Oh, look. You can see where other characters are specifically. So we're on Main Street. And right over here is going to be Discovery Cliffs. And apparently there's just sheer cliffs everywhere connecting all these places. Epiphany Island. Bridge Stand. Relay Point. Facilities. And apparently I can go look at a dumpster. Sweet. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Sweet. It's almost vandalism. Do it. <laughs> oh, right, we're just hopping over the fence. I thought we were gonna knock- <laughs> I'm thinking King's Quest levels of stuff where I'm- I think we're gonna like jam it in a hole and try to jump over it.
but later the dumpster is going to be gone and we'll be trapped. Ooh. We don't really have a way back over the fence, do we? If we needed a dumpster on this side to get over. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, it was nothing. Yeah, yeah. what was it really, Jonas? If you- Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Apparently we're all pro rock climbers. Congratulations. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, Whoops, right? Whoops, we're family. Uh, yep. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like... What does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so... Family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting well, the... sorry. I accept your apology. Thanks. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! So I totally, it totally slipped my mind for a moment, the part about them being st uh, uh, stepbrother and stepsister, because I, I, it over in my head when they started doing like the little friction there of like the sort of tug of war between the friend and the stepbrother. It is a similar relationship though, just not 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 romantic, but the thing of like uh, family versus friends and kind of pulling back and forth on one person and trying to get more of them somehow. Just a dynamic that happens. And everyone was waiting for me. <laughs> I thought she was just gonna go stare at the rock because she was just didn't want to look at us, but I think they were waiting for me to move forward. <laughs> Whoops. And now for a long path that's perfectly paced for the length of that conversation. Although moments like that are probably the... Stalling like that's probably the only way I'll ever get a chance to say anything about what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so we have a group of friends. We're alone on an island. No one know. Uh, does anyone know we're here? Well, I guess one person knows we're here because we bribed this. Yeah, basically bribed them to look the other way. That'll go over well. But kids on an island, and it's a video game, which usually involves some kind of conflict. So I doubt some. I doubt this is all going to go perfectly. This truly is a late a lady's first caravan, isn't it? All right, now we're going off to Beacon Beach. Bye, everyone. I'm going. <laughs> All right, let's find out why Clarissa hates me. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um... What's the, like, thing to do here? 
other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something Isn't like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. Can we just... <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well... I have a thing for hockey, so... Sure. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? I do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be, like, less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah! I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. Aww. So, Alex's turn? Yep. Lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Okay, fine, Clarissa. Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. What's your worst fear? That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. I kind of get that, actually. Yeah, we're practically sisters. I can feel it. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Well... What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. It what are you talking about? What is this even what does this have to do with anything? Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? 
You know guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... let's not stop like this. We should... Let... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we can... And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Wow. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. It's like Clarissa, ra like, crawled up a larger, shittier version of herself. Just right up the asshole. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. My favorite part is how it has fewer people in it. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you oh, over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, So, uh, the cave. They went to that What's your bet? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Weird evenly spaced Karens were up to a good start. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot. And cute. And, I don't know. I, she's cool, that's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind that. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay. Let's see what happens. How will we know when it's... So what we have for this one is the weird beeping. I think this. I think it's just Morse code. Basically, we're not gonna get much out of that. Just pull out your radio. No, yeah, I'm on it, buddy. I don't see a specific spot where it gets effective. I bet there's a forum thread where somebody just carefully translated hey, all yeah. of those, though. Not really sure what I'm going for here. Oh, okay. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like, 
My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but, you know, if you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Is there something more than just Morse code there? This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever. She never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Alright, we'll see what happens. Cat catastrophe. Boom. Everything's gone. It sounds... so... Yeah, it sounds... uh... I mean, so far it sounds like the Morse code. Satanic. Not what I was gonna say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? It kind of sounds like pitch-shifted Morse code. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Oh, no, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. And in we go. So it's just me and Jonas now. Following the creepy alien Morse code cave that makes lights flash and everything. We'll be fine. We'll only get like two types of cancer.